we'll begin with James Madison. Um, we'll take questions for him first for around 10 minutes. Um, we'll try and get through as many questions as possible. Uh, James will then be followed by Ange Postacoglu, um, and we'll take questions from the floor and use the microphone provided. Köszönöm a sarkon munkatársait. Először a játékossal James Madisonnal kezdenénk. Körülbelül 10 percig lehet tőle kérdezni, utána pedig a vezetőedzővel jövünk. Hi James. Um, tomorrow is the England squad announcement as well as Tottenham's match. You're playing very, very well at the moment. You weren't in the last squad, but I, pre I presume you're hoping to be back in the reckoning. There's so much competition in your position. Where do you feel your game is at at the moment and your relationship? That you've, you've known Lee Carsley for a long time, I believe, back all the way back to Coventry. How do you think that all fits in and where do you see yourself at in that particular regard? Um, hi everyone, by the way. Um, <laughs> I don't think question one will be straight in with the England stuff, but uh, um, no, nah, listen, yeah, tomorrow is obviously the announcement day off. I want to be in the squad, it's simple, every England player will tell you that. Um, like you said, yeah, I know Lee Carsley, I worked with him at Coventry, he's my assistant in the under 21s, um, under AD Booth, who I had for a few years in a European Championships that we built up to under 21 level. Um, and my game, yeah, no, I feel really good. I feel, I feel really good at the minute. I feel probably as fit as I've ever felt, really. I feel like my fitness is really at an optimum level. Obviously, having a, a break in the summer, well, uh, a pretty lengthy break, not going to the Euros, it kind of does help. You can see, like, I know Finn spoken about with Erlen Haaland a lot, how he's had a summer off and he hit the ground running. I feel the same. Um, no, but I feel really good. I feel confident. I feel, I feel alive on the pitch minute um, and that's good and I always kind of say the same cliche thing when I get asked about the England stuff and it's if I just take care of my performances for Spurs which I feel like I'm doing at the minute to a high level then the other stuff will take care of itself hopefully so um, I'll just continue with that, that mindset that mentality and hopefully it'll get me to where I want to be yeah. Kérdés arra vonatkozott, hogy, hogy a holnapi mérkőzés mellett az angol válogatott keret hirdetése is holnap történik, mennyire Tartja ezt fontosnak, illetve a Coventryvel is lesz majd egy mérkőzésük, ahol játékosként is szerepelt. Kérem, hogy nyilatkozzon erről. A játékos pedig azt válaszolta, hogy igen, úgy gondolom, hogy, hogy minden angol játékos számára nagyon is kiemelt helyen szerepel az angol válogatott, úgyhogy szeretne mindenki a tagja tenni. A Coventryben pedig fiatal koromban játszottam elég sokat, úgyhogy ismerem a játékokat, hogy az U21-es csapatnak is a tagja voltam. Jelenleg talán a valaha legfittebbnek érzem magam. Úgy gondolom, hogy, hogy nagyon jót tett ez a hosszabb nyári szünet. Láthattuk hasonló játékosoknál is, milyen, milyen hatásai voltak ennek. Úgyhogy úgy gondolom, hogy a teljesítményem az, az abszolút jó, és ezt szeretném a Tottenhamnél is kamatoztatni ilyen szinten. You mentioned the, the fitness there, but it also seems from the outside like you've come into this season with a real determination and sort of resolve. Is that the case? And if so, where did that come from? And was that something you thought about in the summer that this would be a campaign to kind of attack in that sense? Um, no, well, a lot of people made quite a lot of talking about the James Madison of the start of last year, I think. Um, but in my own head, the, the James Madison that started last year had been there for four or five years in the Premier League at that level. Just I think the exposure you get at being at a bigger club, Spurs and winning games kind of made everyone think, wow, James Madison's at a really high level when really I felt like I'd been at that level quite consistently for a few years. Um, but yeah, I guess when it, whenever, whenever in life you have kind of like setbacks, I've, I've also spoke on this in, in interviews, it can go like one or two ways and the gaffer kind of said that as well before about like it's how you deal with that you know you can either kind of let it swallow you up a little bit and feel sorry for yourself and and go down that route or you can respond in the right way and and the only way really to then actually get back to being successful and, and getting back in the England squad and playing at the top level for Spurs again um, so I don't think it was like a it wasn't a massive thing because I feel like I actually finished this, the back end of last season quite well uh, and I just wanted to, yeah, I always want to prove people wrong, prove any, any sort of doubters, people who question, always want to prove them wrong. That's where I get some of my hunger from, you know. 
wanting to be the best version of myself for Tottenham and, and for my teammates and for, for the people close to me, but also to prove the people wrong who doubt me. I get satisfaction in that. So, um, no, like I said on the previous, I feel really good at the minute and I, and I feel I feel sharp. So, hopefully that can continue. Kérdés az volt, hogy ugye beszélt a fitségéről, de mint hogyha egy extra elhatározottságot is láthatnánk ebben a szezonban, honnan meríti ezt a a játékos pedig azt válaszolta, hogy, hogy nagyon sokan beszélnek a múlt évi James Anisonról, de ettől függetlenül úgy gondolom, hogy ha valaki a Premier League szintjén már négy-öt éve játszik, akkor vannak bizonyos kvalitásai, és hozzá van szokva egy, egy bizonyos szinthez és terheléshez, úgyhogy úgy gondolom, hogy, hogy ezt a szintet a lehető legjobban szeretném hozni, akármi is történik, hogyha az életben vannak olyan dolgok, amik hátráltatnak, akkor igazából, vagy bárkit hátráltatnak, két választása van, vagy gyakorlatilag sajnáltatja magát, vagy, vagy próbál ebből az egészből jól kijönni, és újra erőt meríteni ebből. Úgy gondolom, hogy, hogy én ezt az utóbbit teszem, mindenképpen szeretnék jól játszani, mind a Tottenhamben, mind a válogatottban, és úgy gondolom, hogy ettől függetlenül a múlt szezon vége is jól sikerült a számomra, és engem azt táplál, hogy, hogy a bennem kételkedőknek bebizonyítsam, hogy nincsen igazuk, és hogy mit is tudok valójában a pályán. Hi James, how are you? Um, I just wanted to ask about Mikey Moore. Um, it's clear from the outside that you've really taken him under your wing, and how nice is that as an experienced player, and how exciting is is his potential? Yeah, um, yeah, Mikey. I have to sometimes pinch myself and remind myself how young he actually is. When he first came up, he was 16, and I just thought, at si well, at 16, I was like, he's he's more of like a, he's he's kind of a man already. I think. Like when I look at him and I watch him play, he's very powerful. He's he's only going to get stronger in terms of growing and developing into his body because he is so young. We're literally talking about a teenager which is quite scary because he's got a lot of ability. Um, but also I don't want to speak too highly because I don't want to put pressure on him, you know. I don't want him to feel like any sort of pressure because he's getting a lot of um, getting a lot of people talking about him at the minute, but rightly so, and, he's, and that's down to him training well, which is getting him in the first team, which is getting exposure, which is what he wants. But firstly, I think he's a great kid. He's, he's a really well-mannered, polite young man, which is a credit to his parents and his family really because that's first and foremost as a senior player when you have a young lad coming up I think that's the first thing that you kind of recognize because you don't want a young lad coming up with that arrogance and that kind of who does he think he is like this was the first team yeah he's not like that at all so that was a he got off to a good start and then his ability on the ball we see it in training I think the Spurs fans are keen and eager to see more in games um, but we see it in training and he's got bags of ability and he looks to me as if he just loves the game and he loves playing and he gets tackled, he sometimes falls on the floor, he gets up, he just jumps up as if nothing happened and he just wants the ball again. So um, really excited to see how his journey goes and just try and help him wherever I can. I, I always try and have little chats with him because I think what would a 16-year-old James Madison want? He'd want one of the senior first team players to put an arm around him and one, treat him like a man, but also give him the advice to try and help him and, and accelerate that uh, that success and the, and the journey he's going to have. So, um, but yeah, he's got to go and do it when he gets the opportunities, and, I, and I'm sure he will, and I'm sure he's keen and eager to get going and get more minutes. So, uh, I look forward to it. A kérdés az volt, hogy a uh, fiatal Mikey Mott szinte a szárnyai alá uh, vette, tudná erről nyilatkozni, a játékos pedig azt válaszolta, igen, uh, Mikey nagyon-nagyon fiatal játékos, 16 éves, és uh, már ilyen szempontból kész férfi, de nekem is mindig eszembe kell juttatnom magamnak, hogy, hogy még csak egy tínédzserről beszélünk, de nem szeretnék túl sokat is beszélni róla, nehogy nyomást helyezzek rá ilyen ö, szempontból. Úgy gondolom, hogy, hogy, hogy nagyon is szüksége van az ilyenfajta terhelésre. Egy nagyon-nagyon klassz rác, igazán udvarias, nagyon rendes a szüleivel, ami ö, úgy gondolom, hogy nagyon is fontos ö, a futballban, hogyha egy idősebb játékos azt látja, hogy ö, valaki fiatalon már arrogáns, az 
sose egy jó jel. Az edzésem pedig őt látva lehet azt látni rajta, hogy nagyon is imádja a focit, ha bármikor leszeredik és a földre kerül, azonnal újra a lábán van. És néha ilyenkor eszembe jut, hogy a 16 éves James Madison mit szeretne egy csapatban, és természetesen neki is nagyon jó lesne, hogyha az idősebb játékosok kicsit egyengetnék az útját és segítenének neki. Úgyhogy mi is ezt tesszük, és úgy gondolom, hogy, hogy ezzel a fajta kitartással egyre több percet fog kapni a pályán. Let's have one with Jerry and then one with Ali this one. James, Jerry, Jerry Cox from Hayes TV. Um, Dane P Kulisevsky's been playing, you know, he's found his position now as a, as a sort of creative midfielder as well. Does that sort of share the load for you or does it create sort of double problems for the opposition with you, him playing in that sort of form as well? Um, yeah, I'm not 100% not sure what you mean by share the load in terms of, in terms of what? Yeah, well, yeah. Okay, yeah. Um, no, Deki's obviously a very forward-thinking player. He's played a lot as a winger. Um, he's got some brilliant attributes. He's a, he's a top footballer with a top mentality and one of the fittest geezers I've ever seen in my life. So uh, it's it's definitely it's nice to play with him. It's it's very attacking and I love it. It's he's a creative player, like you say. So I, it's not that I've ever felt responsibility to be the only creative player in the team because the way we play, we kind of create from all different situations with our with um with our philosophy here, but. Um, no, he's a brilliant player. He's I think uh, on Sunday at Old Trafford, he really took the game, grabbed it by the scruff of the neck almost, was driving us forward. He's, he's so good at carrying the ball as well. I just feel like yeah, there's a really nice balance in there at the minute, so it's a, a pleasure to play alongside him, especially when he's like that Sunday. A kérdés arra van között, hogy a csapattársa Dekiben milyen együtt játszani, ugye hasonló poszton kreativitásra van szüksége a játékos, pedig azt válaszolta, hogy, hogy nagyon is jó egy ilyen emberrel együtt játszani a csapatban, hiszen azt a fajta plusz kreativitást abszolút bele tudja vinni a játékunkba, és ilyen szempontból nagyon is tudunk más fajta játékkal operálni, és igazából ezt a fajta játék stílust képviselni. What have you made of this period for him and how he's just kind of shown exactly what he's made of? Uh, Brennan's first and foremost, obviously a very good friend of mine, very close with him. Um, I think a lot's been made about him coming off social media, which to him probably wasn't as big a deal as what it's been made out. I mean, knowing Brennan, he's the type of guy to sometimes just have a break from that sort of stuff anyway. I think people have kind of read into that a little bit too much, but yeah, since he's obviously gone four and four, so I don't think I'll be telling him to re-download it anytime soon. Um, But no, he's a great kid. He's a brilliant player. I've never, no one's ever had any doubt in that, but he's really shown it at the minute and consistently. It's, it's not easy to score four games in a row for starters. So um, no, he's a brilliant, he's a brilliant lad, a, a great friend of mine. So I'm always there for him. That picture was obviously a bit tongue in cheek. It, I, we found it funny. It got put in our, our group chat. So, uh, but um, no, hopefully he can continue with this form because he's a real threat for us and he can do damage to a lot of oppositions in the Premier League and in Europe. So. Uh, I like to see him in, in that in that rich that vein of form. Yeah. A kérdés uh, Brennan Johnsonra uh, vonatkozott, hogy uh, jó barátságban vannak mi a véleménye róla a uh, jelenlegi teljesítményéről. Sokan uh, nagyon is uh, komoly csatárokhoz hasonlítják őt. A játékos pedig azt válaszolta, hogy uh, nem is kérdés, hogy uh, zseniálisan tehetséges játékosról beszélünk. Uh, emellett nagyon is jó barátom, úgyhogy uh, nagyon. Szerettem őt a pályán tudni, és az is mutatja az ő kvalitásait, hogy négy meccsen zsinórba betalált, úgyhogy úgy gondolom, hogy ez mindenképpen egyfajta jele annak, hogy milyen kvalitásokkal is rendelkezik.